Hi, I'm Bonnie Parker, head of ARIS at Clayton State University Library, and I want to show you an overview of library resources for poetry. This is for the class English 2132. Let's talk about several different ways that we can help you. We'll begin with the library homepage, and then we'll talk about libguides, print books, ebooks, databases, and bibliographies. Let's begin with the library homepage. Our main homepage is clayton.edu slash library. On our homepage, you'll see several different ways that you can search for resources or get help. On the left side, there is a menu which includes an option for catalog, which is used for searching for print books and some eBooks. And there's also a link for LibGuides and these are pathfinders to help you with your research. In the middle, you'll see search options for Galileo. This will help you with articles, journals, and multimedia. The lower right side of our page includes LibChat. If you need any help, you can chat with a librarian during open hours. Let's look at LibGuides. LibGuides are pathfinders that include resources to help you with your research. When you land on the LibGuides page, you'll see that they are arranged according to subject. If you click on English, you'll see all of the English LibGuides. And yours will be the one called English 2131-2132 American Literature. You will also find literature and literary criticism to be useful. Under the Literature and Literary Criticism Guide, you'll see a series of pages or tabs across the top that will help you with your research. A lot of what you'll be doing has to do with criticism, so if you choose the Criticism tab, you'll see a listing of electronic resources that are specifically related to literature criticism. Let's look at print books. If you're on the main library homepage, you can choose Catalog from the left menu. Or you can go to the middle of the page and look at Books and then choose Catalog from there. This will take you to the catalog page. You can search for books within our library, or you can change the drop-down menu to search within the University System of Georgia. This is an example of search results. For this sample, we used Modern American Poetry. You can see the listings and how each one of these listings has a location and a call number. If you have any trouble finding a book, just let us know at the circulation desk and we'll be glad to help you. Sometimes we don't have the book that you're looking for, but that's okay. We can still get it from another library. Gill Express and Interlibrary Loan are services for our students and faculty that allow us to request books and articles from other libraries. You can borrow books through Gill Express Using the University System of Georgia catalog, these books arrive within two to four days and they check out for 28 days. Interlibrary loan is used not only for books, but for copies of articles. If an electronic copy of an article is available, it will be emailed and that generally takes a few days. If you want to borrow books through interlibrary loan, those usually arrive within two to three weeks and the loan period varies according to the library. Now let's look at ebooks. One of our LibGuides is called ebooks at the Clayton State Library. If you go to this LibGuide, it'll take you through the steps of searching ebook collections that we have, such as EBSCOhost, ProQuest, and open source ebooks and textbooks.
We recommend these collections for biography and literary history. Dictionary of Literary Biography Complete, Gale Contextual Encyclopedia of World Literature, and Concise Major 21st Century Writers. Next, let's talk about databases. When you're searching our databases, it's a good idea to use Boolean operators. These are words that connect your keywords or your search terms. If you use the operator AND, it will narrow your search. If you use OR, it will expand. And if you use the word NOT, this excludes results. For searching strategies, use keywords and keyword phrases that you've pulled from your topic or your question that you're answering for your research. Connect your keywords with Boolean operators and or not. And brainstorm alternative terms and synonyms. You can use a thesaurus or an index tool to help you find synonyms for your keywords. Truncation helps you to find varying forms of a root word. So for this example, we started to spell motivate, but we used an asterisk at the end. This will give us results such as motivating, motivation, and motivator. If you use the wildcard question mark, this is used in place of a letter that could change. So in this example, the question mark allows this word to become neat, nest, or next. If you use the wildcard symbol hashtag, this stands for an extra letter. This is really good for varying spellings of words, such as color in the American spelling or color with a U in it in the English spelling. If you use Galileo off campus, you will be prompted to log in. Just use your SWAN username and password. These databases are recommended for literature criticism. Gale Literary Sources, Literature Criticism Online, Literature Online, and MLA International Bibliography. If you're looking for multidisciplinary resources, try Academic Search Complete, or JSTOR, or Research Library. JSTOR is interesting because it has articles that go all the way back to the 1600s. So if you're looking for something from a long time ago, JSTOR is a good bet. In JSTOR, you can use an advanced search or you can browse by the subject tool. Let's look for some information about annotated bibliographies. This type of bibliography is a list of references or citations in which a brief explanation or an evaluative note is added to each reference or citation. Two sites that we recommend are Cornell University Libraries Online and the OWL at Purdue. Of course, you can always contact us for more information too. If you need more help, use LibChat on our main homepage or LibAnswers, or you can call us at 678-466-4346.